and still the WBO Walter White champion of the world turns Bud Crawford what's happening old man thanks for tuning in it's the aftermath Crawford versus Porter ah Thanks for stopping by, man. Thanks for your time. So, listen, man. You gotta give Crawford and Porter, actually. You gotta give them both um, respect for that fight, man. I mean, you all know Porter has resigned now, or retired, I'd say. Not resigned, he never gave up, you know, he retired. Um, Due to a, a full explosive um, phenomenal, maybe probably I would say the best in the PBC for sure, man. The best um, resume, man. You know, he's fought everybody. You know, he has fought all the top cars you can think of are in the welterweight division, you know, he's stuck around in that division and he managed to get the championship, you know, he managed to become champion and lost the belt, man, and challenged all the best, um, didn't duck any challenges or anything like that, man, it was always about, you know, testing himself to see where he's at, you know, and he has found out where he's at, man, after that Crawford fight, you know. It was a hell of a fight from him, from Porter. You know, he definitely did um, shine in that fight, man. Um, I would say most people would say that he was winning the fight until the 10th round, including myself. You know, he was definitely in the fight. Like, But it's like I said, you know, my breakdown. He is always that almost guy or that nearly guy, you know, and, and it's, it seemed to be that way again. You know, he always falls short you know, um, whether it's one round, two rounds, man, you know, this time it was by a stoppage, you know, which was different. But you got to remember, you know, Bud Crawford was the guy that wanted to stop Porter. He was the guy that um, wanted to prove himself in dramatic fashion, you know, he wanted to prove to the world that... His resume wasn't a cherry prick, you know. He wanted to prove to the world that he is the best. Pound for pound, father in the world, you know. And what better way to do it by being imported by a stoppage, you know. What better way to do it by um, making a statement to the point where Porter did retire. Um, you know, it was a hell of a fight and it was exactly what I expected. Um, it was exactly the same result that I expected, you know, that's exactly what I was expecting that um, the Crawford would do, man, is to knock him out, you know, because, I mean, the guy's on a mission, especially a guy that's a, um, you know, perfectionist and executor in the knockout, man, you know, he knows how to knock people out, he knows how to finish the job, you know, that's what he does. Um, when he has his mind on doing something like that, man, it's going to, you know, it's going to happen. Um, especially when the guy's coming at him, attacking him all the time, you know. Um, and that's what he done. That's exactly what he done. You know, Porter was attacking him throughout most of the fight. And Crawford was looking for that punch, man, like I talked about. You know, once he finds that punch, he will you keep using that punch until he knocks him out. He found that punch in round nine, you know. But he was also landing that same punch, which was the uppercut to the body, you know, he was landing it to the body a lot, man, but, you know, um, he noticed when Porter was coming forward and, 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 and um, leaning down towards him, man, he was catching him with a short uppercut to the head. Um, with the right timing, man, he has managed to catch him flush in the ninth, man, where he was able to finish the job off in the tenth. Um, now, let's talk about that stoppage. A lot of people would say that um, the stoppage is a bad stoppage and... You know, Porter was, you know, still in the fight, man. He was winning the fight and all that. But you got to also keep in mind that once Porter hit the deck, man, he couldn't compose himself at all, man. He was punching the ground. Um, 
Um, I'm talking about the second knockout here. You know, the first knockout he I think was more of a shock to him. You know, he got caught from that punch, man. That that um, short left uppercut, which managed to put down Porter. Um, another thing that I did mention that he would get back up, and he did. You know, that's what he done, man. He got back up, and he was managed to continue, but he wasn't man. He didn't manage to compose himself when he got put down again. You know, and um. I believe even if it wasn't waved off man I believe Crawford would have finished him off in round 10 there was still a lot of time in that round Crawford had found his punch you know and um, and not only that man Crawford if you look back at the end of round 9 um, he is in his corner that he's actually losing the fight you know they actually tell him straight up man you know what we're actually losing the fight and Crawford knew that he had to step on the gas and he also knew that he found the punch that he was looking for. And he managed to do the job, you know. He managed to do the job in dramatic fashion. Um, and deserves to be crowned the number one path for part in the world, you know. Um, and now you've got the stoppage I wanted to talk about in more detail. Um, so his dad, you know... If, threw in the towel and you know what what really gets me man is what the dad says after the fight man is saying that Porto could have went in there blindfolded you know complete disrespect to his son you know I know that a lot of um, fathers and son have different bonds and some people like to be um, straight up with each other you know but there's a right place and a right time for that, you know. He didn't really need to, to do that, um, knowing that it might be Porter's last fight. Not only that, you know, to say that he could be could have been blindfolded is like saying that, man, you know, you wasted your time doing the sport. Because when you enjoy something, man, and someone digs that deep at you, and you really, you know, you're, you're like I said, his resume is probably the best in the PBC, man, and someone digs at you like that, and it's your own blood, man, that must have hurt Porter, but I mean, I can't speak for him, you know, like I said, some people have different bonds with their dad, but what I can say, man, is how it sounded was complete disrespect, you know, but um, I ain't gonna talk about that too much, man, I'm just saying that it was a bad way for him to go out, Porter, you know, if, I mean, if I knew it was my son's last fight, I would say, you know, my son put on a hell of a fight man as he always does and he fell short tonight man but he you know he's always a champion in my eyes you know something in those lines you know what I mean but um hey the damage is done man Crawford is the number one and he proved it and um that's all I gotta say man it is the aftermath let me know your take man on the fight um obviously man subscribe to the channel Drop a comment and all that, man, you know, hit the notification bell, and thanks for stopping in, man, um, God bless, peace, stay safe.